Hey guys, this is Prancing Pony Studios here, and I just wanted to, uh, a lot of people asked me about my barn, and how it was, like, how I decided how to arrange it and stuff, because I guess I did a good job or something, or they liked it. But, um, so I'm just going to show you, uh, a few list, a list of a few tips on how to, and I'm going to go into detail, um, so... Uh, number one on my list is personalize. And this would go along with the last thing, too, is make yourself happy, okay? Don't worry about everyone else if they like your barn or not. It's about you. If you like it, be happy. Okay, so let's say you like barns where it's kind of, you know, the bedding's everywhere, nothing's, you know... like perfect it's all it's all makeshift and nice you know it's country and it just feels like home it's got that home feeling if you know what I'm talking about or you can have the barns where every when where it's the beautiful wood with the bar with the um uh metal bars to keep the horse from biting each other and stuff like that you know um I don't have that. I like the, I personally like the homemade barns, but, um, it depends on your style, okay? I would go with either, either one, you know? Um, make your own stuff, okay? This is also how to make your barn more awesome. Uh, make your own stuff like this. Um, someone has a tutorial up on these. Um, they didn't do the back, I don't think, but I'm not sure I haven't watched it in a while. These, uh, a lot of people ask me about these little clips as well. Um, look at Joanne's. The craft store or Hobby Lobby might have them. But, um, you know, look at your craft store for, pl uh, for, uh, little things like this. Because I found, um, those little, uh, bins at Joanne's and stuff like that. So, um... You know, just make your own stuff or use the inexpensive stuff that you find everywhere, okay? These, uh, water caps, okay? If you were little and you used to collect my little, uh, pet shop, um, they sometimes gave out apples and stuff with, like, the pigs. And I don't, I have a display up there of all when I collected them. And, um, I took a few little accessories because I didn't have room for them up here. And I used them in my barn. And they worked out pretty well. So, um, yeah. You can use that, uh, stuff. You can use stuff like that all the time. I use their apples because most of the time they're pretty nice. <clears throat> um, and a lot of babies have those little things where you put the shapes in and it gets stuck in the box. Uh, I had a lot of those, and um, I took the shapes, and I used them as feeders. So, you know, just be creative. Be yourself. If you see a vision, go for it, okay? Um, like, as Einstein said, he tried hundred, like 175 ways, or 150 ways, or something like that. Uh, and I learned... Um, he didn't, he uh, failed making light bulb. And he goes, I didn't fail making the light bulb 150 times. I just learned 150 ways not to make a light bulb. And um, it's just, you know, you don't, uh, I'm not saying you can't fail, but if you're happy, that's all that matters, okay? It's your barn, you be happy. Um, but I'm going to go along with some of the things that, Ever, in everyday life that you could find, uh, water caps, uh, those are, these, I, um, as little, when you get the little temporary tattoos, I had a bunch of those, and I kept the, um, things, and I used those as fencing, <clears throat> you know, just little things like that can make your barn better, um, I have a very, of, combs and brushes and stuff in my grooming kit and that's from a little kid set those are from little kid sets you know 
take it from all over the place. My flowers are from Lego sets. Lego friends. From Lego Belleville and stuff like that. But, um, one of the biggest things is make it yours. Okay, if you're happy, I've said this probably five times in this video by now, but be happy with your barn, because otherwise, you it's not going to feel like it's yours. It's going to feel just boring and, you know. Um, next on my list, start uh, small. <clears throat> Okay, don't think you're going to get a gigantic, huge, amazing barn in a week, okay? It takes time to develop it. Start out with a tiny barn, okay? Maybe a main barn or something like that. You know, six to eight stalls, five, six. Even one or two is good for a start. Uh, I started with this little six-stall barn that I made. And, um, yeah. You know, um... Just start small and, um, yeah, start, don't think you're going to have this gigantic, amazing barn as, in, at the snap, the speed of light, you know, the snap of a finger, okay, it doesn't happen that way, so stop thinking it's going to. You know, calm down and, you know, just realize it's going to take time. Uh, watch other videos to get ideas. I'm not saying go copy another barn, you know, be like, oh, I set it up just like ours. No. Um, but go get ideas for, like, stall mats. Like, I honestly am probably going to use this one, but it's from um, Buckthorn Stables, but she uses black construction paper as stall mats. I might use that. Okay, um, I'm still going to ask her about it. I always ask before I use your ideas. Okay, remember that. So, yeah, I haven't asked her yet, but I will. I promise. But, um, uh, know your space. What I mean by that is know what space you have and think of ways you're going to use it. Like, uh, drawing it out on a piece of paper. Um, I had a checklist for my barn, honestly. Um, be like, oh, I need a pasture, at least one pasture. Um, I'm not saying go have five time, five pastures right now. No. Maybe later in the barn, but tell them don't even worry about it. But I just put, um, decent barn, <laughs> office, tack room, feed room, you know, and then I built on. And I put a pasture in there, but I built on, you know. I added more stalls and a Marin full barn and a petting zoo and I still am working on my tack room I have I just haven't had the use for it yet you know just no reason don't have any saddles yet or that many saddles I have three but I have three racks in my barn for the most used saddles they're falling though um I'll fix them later but I think I might take one of them down and put it in there so I don't have as many there because I know that one gets annoying when it's just like hanging there so um yeah and i guess that would almost sum it up a little um use what you know though like uh the princess sets i got bushes and plants from those and um just uh overall i'm gonna repeat it again personalize make your own stuff or use cheap and expensive stuff. Uh, plan out. Start small. Watch other videos to get ideas. Be creative. Know your space. And make you happy. Make yourself happy. Nobody else. It's not their barn. They want to make them. If they want to be happy, they can make their own barn and make themselves happy. Okay. So. You know. That's what I have to say. Bye, guys.